Hey guys, today we're going to be working on page 406 in our workbook and then we're going to switch gears and go to homework and remembering 6-5. So we will do some of these together and then I always leave some for you to do as well. So today at the top it says solving comparison problem. So we're comparing things but without the words more or fewer. So we just need to pay a little close attention because sometimes we use the words more and fewer to kind of help us decide what to do. But we'll st we're still going to be able to know whether we're doing plus or minus just by the words in the problem. So let's start with number six. The coach bought eight, brought 18 hockey sticks to practice. There were 23 players at practice. How many players didn't get sticks? Okay, so start thinking in your head whether it's going to be plus or minus. Okay, all the ones on this page are going to be plus or minus. So the coach brought 18 sticks and there's 23 players. How many players did not get sticks? So we're going to draw our lines across so that we can show our work. So, I want you to write over here what you think you're going to do, plus or minus. Okay, did you say minus? Because I don't have enough sticks, do I? I've got 18 sticks and I have 23 players. So when I subtract, I always put my big number on top. And I do need to show my work. I can't just go over... Even, even if I can do mental math, Mrs. Hagen wants to see you solve it over on the side. Just do the two-digit minus two-digit. So can I do three take away eight? No, I cannot. Go next door, cross that, borrow one, come over, add 10 to three, and I have 13. Now I'm ready to subtract. 13 minus eight. A is 5, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So when it says how many players didn't get sticks, um, we have some hockey players in our room, by the way. So we are going to take that answer, move it over here, and we would our label would be the word after many, which is players. Okay? All right, let's look at number seven. At a meeting, 15 people had to stand because there were not enough chairs. There were 12 chairs. How many people came to the meeting? Okay, so think about that. At a meeting, 15 people had to stand because there weren't enough chairs. There were 12 chairs. So you might say, oh, 15 take away 12. But that's only the people that didn't get to, that's the difference between the chairs and the people. But we need to know the total amount of people that came to the meeting. So I've got 15 people that were standing, right? And there were 12 stand because there were not enough chairs. And then there were 12 chairs. So I need to take the people that were in the chairs. It's a little bit tricky on that one, okay? So we've got the standing people and the chair people. And then we're going to add that up. I think I'm going to let you do that on your own. And I see my label. Every time there's a story problem, we are doing our labels. All right. And, and then I'm going to leave these last two for you to do. They are not extra credit. You need to do number eight and nine. Okay, we are going to cross out the bottom section here and finish that up and then meet me on 6-5 and I will tell you what we're going to do there. All right, this looks very similar to the page that we just did in the workbook. So we are on the front of 6-5. And one of the things that I wanted to tell you when you're doing these, because we kind of have in our head that we're always doing times and divide, on all of these, you are going to be doing either plus or minus. So just kind of keep that in your head. 
and go ahead and draw your lines across. It helps Mrs. Hagen when I'm correcting when things are neater, okay? So do your best. All right, let's look at the first one. Lucia drew 13 pictures. Lucia drew six more pictures than Chelsea. Okay, so Lucia is 13, and she's actually six more than her friend Chelsea. How many pictures did Chelsea draw? Okay, so let's think about that. All right, so we've got 13 pictures for Lucia, which is actually six more than her friend. Okay, so I'm going to subtract to get how many pictures Chelsea drew. So I have 13 minus 6 and solve. And I see a label right after the word many. Okay, let's do one more together. Derek bought 15 cupcakes to the party. After he gave one to each guest, he still had six left. How many guests were at the party? So he started with 15, he passed them all out, and he had six left. So how many people were there? Okay, he's starting with 15, he's giving one to everybody, but he still ends up with six left. Are you thinking plus or minus? See if you can write it in the circle before Mrs. Hagen. Okay, did you? we have to figure out the difference. Did you put minus? Ooh, I hope you did. This one, we can just say 15, take away six. Of course, you can always write that one this way too, since it's a simpler problem, right? Whichever way you prefer. And then your guess is your label. One thing that's nice about these story problems is they're not super long. So you don't have a lot of time to get confused. And I always say, read it once and do your underlining and then read it again, okay? Because they're short. Molly hit six home runs. Molly hit three fewer home runs than Jerry. How many home runs did Jerry hit? Okay, we know that Molly hit six. And we also know that that was three fewer or three less than Jerry. So if she hit three less than Jerry, what do I need to do with my numbers to figure out how many Jerry hit? Let's see if you can write it over here before me. She's three less than Jerry. How do we figure out how many Jerry hit? Okay, did you say plus? Okay, so six plus three. One thing about these two is the they're pretty simple on the math, aren't they? And then home runs, we could just say HR for home runs. Okay, so I'm going to leave you with the other four that are on the page. So you will go all the way down to number seven. I think you're going to do great on those. And then meet me on the back side. And we just have a couple back there that we're going to do. All right, here we are on the back side. So we are going to be looking at some fractions, just like we did yesterday, and telling which one is bigger. Okay, and I want to just review a couple of things. Um, I know we do the cross multiplying, which is nice. Okay. But I'm going to just remind you that when the number on the bottom is the same, we only need to look at the top number of the fraction. So let's talk about that on number one. Chef Marco made three eighths gallon of pasta sauce. Chef Nicole made five eighths. So let's draw our lines so we have room. I want you to write them over here. Okay. And when I, I'm on, we want to know who made more sauce. Okay, I'm going to put an M here for Marco. And this is Nicole. Okay, so I can remember who's who. Now, notice that the bottom number is the same. When that happens, I don't have to cross multiply. 
okay? I just have to look at the top number, which is, ooh, who remembers what that's called? Remember, the top number is called the numerator. The bottom number is called the denominator. And if they ever ask you that on a test, remember what I told you? Always remember that you'll know that the D is on the bottom because it's kind of like, pretend it stands for down. So numerator, denominator. All right, so I'm looking at the top numbers. I can see that Nicole's is made more sauce. So it says, who made more sauce? Okay, you don't have to explain your answer. You can just write the name, okay? Because we kind of did explain our answer right over here by showing our work. All right, so next one, number two. It says the librarian shelved five-sixths of the returned books. Has she shelved more than half of the returned books? Explain your answer. So a good way to do this is to draw a fraction bar. Okay, so we're going to draw a little bar like this that has six spots. So we're going to do one in the middle and then two here and two here. And then we're going to do the same thing, the exact same size bar right down here. Middle and divide it into six. Okay, and then we're going to shade five, six, and then we're going to decide if that is more than half. Okay, Mrs. Higgins going to try her little thing here. So I'm going to shade five, six, one, two, three, four, five, that's five out of six, and then they want to know if she did more than half. Okay, so I'm going to shade, get that closed a little bit there. All right, so now I want to shade half to see if, and you know what half of six is, that would be one, two, three. Okay, so this is I can look at the top bar, okay, and I can say she did five six right here. And then she we did a half of the bar, which was actually three six, because that's the same as one half. Those two are the same, okay? So if I look at her bar, did she do more than half the books? Yes or no, okay? You're going to circle the correct answer there. That one was a little tougher, so I wanted to help with that one. Okay. I'm going to draw lines down here, and I'm going to say that this part down here is extra credit. Okay. We don't have to do the comparison bars if you don't want to. All right. And you are going to do some perimeter and area. Okay. So make sure you draw it out. Okay. Miss Emerson has a rectangular shelf. Go ahead and take time to draw your rectangle. And then she has one side that is five feet long. Always good to draw a picture. And the other side is three feet. What is the area? I want you to remember that with area, we do times. And with perimeter, we do plus, right? All right, get those last two done and you should be good to go, guys. Hope you have an amazing day.